Hello! Today I'm gonna show you how to make a freeze frame effect. Uh, for example, to introduce a character or anything you want, honestly. This was a request. So yeah, I took this clip online and I'm gonna drag part of it on my timeline. So right now we have a girl that's like putting on headphones and then starts dancing. Well, it can last a while. I'm gonna stop it before like maybe here. So I will do uh, right click extract frame to project here, save it as this name. And then I'm gonna crop this back to the frame I was at and drag the frame onto the timeline. So right now I have the girl putting on the headphones and then it stops. Second thing I'm gonna do is um, control the this girl. So I'm gonna use rotoscoping, our favorite tool. If you want more on this, I have a video that I posted not that long ago. Uh, so I will do it quite quickly here. I'm just gonna, I don't know, go around the, the girl, I guess. Uh, you can do it as precise or not precise as you want. I am not gonna do it very precisely right now. If you need more precision, know that uh, you can zoom in thanks to these buttons here, if you just hover on the right. Okay, so she is selected. Then I'm gonna remove this middle frame that I don't need. Um, put it a bit like one frame, one, what's it called, track higher and so right now it looks the same, but I'm gonna change stuff. So the background, I might want it a bit different when I freeze it, so uh, you could put it black and white, but right now it's already pretty black and white for me, so I'm gonna colorize it. So I'm gonna take this, drag it here, and well, blue is actually maybe good because it's like opposite our sweater, kinda. So we're gonna keep it like this, but you can like change the saturation, stuff like that. Then I'm gonna copy this one and paste it again over it. Uh, the bottom one, I'm gonna make it a little smaller, so look for a uh, bigger, I mean, transform. Add it to the frame again. I can close this one. I'm gonna make it like maybe 105%. Recenter it kinda like however you like it, maybe like just on some sides. And I want to make it one color. So I'm gonna add a brightness effect and put it all the way to white, unless you want black and then you can go to all the way to the dark. So like white this way, dark this way. Pretty logical, I guess. But I want a white, so I'm gonna put it on this side. And then for this one, the rotoscoping isn't low enough. Yep. Uh, actually, the size is not that bad. So, if you want to move it, you can also add a transform effect, but I won't. So, right now, it looks like this. Quite cool. Uh, if you want another color than black or white, you can also add a colorize effect to it. The problem with that is that it's not that easy to choose the color. So like you might go like here, oh, it's like quite a nice color, but maybe it's not exactly what we want. You could also uh, make a new color clip. Choose your color here. So like with custom, you're like, oh, I want whatever color. I don't know. You choose a color, you know. Uh, I don't know, green, okay. Okay. Then you drag it onto your timeline. And you just um, copy the rotoscoping here and it will cut it. So that can work as well. And then you put it in the background with the same effects that I just did. Um, but for now, I'm happy with the one I have. And maybe you want to add some text since I said it could be an introduction. So in that case, you need to move the two higher tracks a bit higher. Project a title clip. And then you're gonna write whatever text you want. So like maybe it's an introduction to like um, 
like you know these uh, Netflix, Netflix uh, romantic comedies, movie, like movies. It would be like she loves music, and then like you would have some dude, and he's, he's like he plays the guitar, and I don't know. This is so random. Uh, oh yeah, this font might work well. Um, as you can see, I already chose the color to match because I did it once before. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a rectangle. Again, I chose the color. Well, so first I want it maybe like so you could have it straight like this. You could maybe have some sort of like kind of rotation, so maybe like rotation like this, but maybe also towards the front, so like it looks kind of uh, warped, I guess. Uh, I also want the rectangle to be lower, and this will have the same as here, so minus 1, 40, minus 10. Minus 1, 40, minus 10. And then I might need to adjust, yeah, I'll need to adjust a little bit, so this a bit more like this, and this I want it smaller in this direction. Okay, create title. And then I'm just gonna put it here between the two, and there you go! And then you might want some movement, because right now it's really, um, well, freezed, I guess. Oh, uh, So it doesn't move at all. So you could add some movement by adding here composite and transform to the track under it, so that both tracks move together when you add another composite and transform on the bottom track. This one I'm going to put it to V1. And so I want it to grow bigger. So it will go to like 115% maybe. And I might change also the size of this one. Uh, I could do it with either transform or composite and transform since I only have one track. Okay, uh, I want. And maybe this time it will grow smaller. Uh, so actually it will be bigger at the beginning. Um, so yeah. Uh, at the beginning it will be like here. And it, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. So one thing is that it's really slow. Uh, I'm just gonna make everything go way faster because you don't want it to freeze that long. And then maybe you want the clip to start again. So here, if I check, like, just put my mark where I stopped it, and then I can move it and have the end be the beginning. Oh yeah, one thing though is that uh, you have to be careful that you can't see the other um, person that's be behind. Because like here, if I hide all of the upper tracks, there's still the girl behind. So when you do the movement for this one, you have to check that it hides everything. Okay. So yeah, also one thing is if here she's big and she's going back to being small. So like you could be like, like do the movement differently or like just change clip afterwards, you know, like I, I get that that should be fine. So yeah, this is it. I hope you like it. Please comment, subscribe, whatever. Share it. Share the, lo the love for Canon Live. By the way, sorry I didn't post last week. Uh, I was one with work, so I didn't have time to record. Oh yeah, also I have the request form in the description. Bye bye!